question number 30 two mu two spheres m and n are uh, far from each other mass the mass of m is greater than the mass of sphere n okay this m this m is greater than m okay distance x is measured from the surface of m along the line joining the centers m and n okay and then uh, the variation with x of the gravitational field strength g is determined it's measured from here g is also determined what is the variation of g with x see when you are at the point closer to m definitely the gravitational field due to m will dominate as compared to this so i can say this will be higher over here now as we start moving over here what will happen this will be a larger vector and this will be slowly increasing progressively increasing over here at a particular point over here you see this vector the magnetic field due, sorry, the gravitational field due to capital m and the gravitational field due to capital uh, capital n will be equal and opposite so as a result of it the net gravitational field should be zero okay now let us see where does it cross zero here now you see here there is no achievement of zero here there is there is an achievement of zero here and there is no here so therefore this were incorrect either one of them should be correct over here now here if you look at this uh, the gravitational field at this point is negative and then it starts increasing like this now is it possible possible the reason is because maybe if i consider this axis as positive then this axis is negative therefore the m representation of the gravitational field due to m could be negative so this may be possible second part is also done then but on the other hand you see gravitational field due to capital m is larger as compared to n okay if i take this point and this point if i consider the gravitational field at this point and the gravitational field at this point which one will have a gra larger gravitational field this will have a larger gravitational field as compared to this because the capital m is larger and moreover we know g is equal to g m by r square so therefore this m should be larger right so therefore so here you see the gravitational field due to this m is smaller is negative and here it is positive so a is the right answer c is the incorrect answer okay